So I grew up in sort of rural Cork by the sea um, in a very sort of idyllic countryside setting with a handful of neighbours who are kind of a little bit older and kind of more traditional in their food taste but also had that really amazing um, relationship with food. And then me and my mum always in the kitchen, I suppose growing up, um, cooked together and she so it taught me how to cook or the basics of cooking. And then I went to college and, and, and ate like tuna and pasta for like four years. Growing up, I, I, my mum was always kind of cooking kind of different things than the other mums would cook, I think. I guess it was the early 90s, so it was a bit of a meat and two veg era. But then, you know, it, she'd be kind of a bit left to center, kind of cooking unusual things um, for that time, I guess. So I guess my, my food, my love of food came from her. Um, and I was raging, and she was as well, that our our, um, our schools didn't teach home economics. Um, I didn't have the option to do that in my school. That's something I think should be compulsory in schools. Food science and, and home economics, every every kid should do it. So I did um, the Ballymaloo 12 week course um, back in 2013, and it was honestly the best thing I've ever done. Then I, um, I got into food marketing. So I got to kind of see the care and love that goes into like a good Irish quality pro pro uh, product. So that was about six years ago. So I kind of, it, it, around that time as well, William was in Ballymaloo. So we were both kind of in this world at the same mm -hmm. time and kind of becoming obsessed with it. And, and you know, we'd be cooking breakfast at home and then automatically thinking, what are we gonna have for lunch? Lunch is over, what's for dinner? What's for supper? What's, what's for snack? So we were all, food was always on the mind because we were both working in it and then coming home and exploring it together. It would never have occurred to me to ever do a market or like do any of those kind of things. So that was where kind of James stepped in and, and marketed me and <laughs> us and all that kind of thing. So that's kind of where it all really came from and how it, how it developed into kind of an obsession really. And then we were kind of like, how do we turn our obsession into a career, which is how Curvini happened. So we're like, you know, if we make a cafe, we can eat all day. <laughs> <laughs>